Welcome back to the third and final part of my series on getting the best hands with Stable Diffusion 1.5. In this part, I tested many popular and user-suggested embeddings to see which improved the quality of hands. Keep in mind that data collected is only for hands. If I notice a particular embedding seemed to improve image quality in general or drastically change the image, I'll mention that. But the meat and potatoes here are hands. Take everything else with a grain of salt. If you want to know the details of my methodology, check out part one of this series. Long story short, each data set is given a score for hands between 0 and 1, with higher being better. Since I am testing the same models with different embeddings, I'll be showing the difference between the base score for the model and the score with that embedding, along with the z-score. The z-score is calculated with this intimidating looking formula, but never fear, I will keep things simple for you. If the z-score is highlighted in green, we are at least 80% confident that it improved hands. And if it is in red, we are at least 80% confident it hurt hands. As a rule of thumb, the change needs to be more than 0.05 in magnitude to be significant. Now, starting from A and going to Z, let's get into these embeddings. Bad Dream was created by Lycon, the creator of Dream Shaper, Ned, and Absolute Reality. I accidentally generated a lot of extra data for this one, much to my greatest major in the production of part two. One model showed a statistically significant increase in hand quality, but with this many models tested, and our confidence level only being 80%, that could easily be random chance. Altogether, there was a spectrum of results, both positive and negative. The CivitAI page says this embedding is for stylized models, and the results seem to match up with that, with Salvia 3 and DreamShare 6.31 showing the most positive results. Overall, though, results were inconclusive with regard to hands. On the more qualitative side, this embedding did seem to increase the overall image quality and add details without changing the image too much. However, it had a tendency to de-age people and move textures like dripping water. Overall, I think Bad Dream is worth using, but don't expect it to do much for improving hands. So, I lied about the whole alphabetical thing. We're going to take a quick detour and cover Bad Dream sibling, Unrealistic Dream, which, per the Civit AI page, is supposed to be used in conjunction with Bad Dream for realistic models. Unlike Bad Dream, this one had a significant decrease in the quality of hands in two out of three models tested, so I think it's safe to say it won't help hands. In terms of image quality, this one seemed to add some details at the expense of moderate changes to the image. The impact on anime models was not good. Later in the video, we will cover an embedding for realistic models that improves hands along with image quality in general so I'm not sure this one is worth using. We covered Bad Hands version 4 in part 1 with excellent results. As a little bonus, I tested this on three extra models, Cetus Mix, Rev Animated, and Mistune Ruby. None of these models showed a significant increase by themselves, but two are pretty close. Overall, three out of seven models tested showed a significant increase in the quality of hands, with the remaining four showing positive results that weren't significant. Even after testing so many more embeddings for this video, this is one of the two best embeddings for improving hands that I've found, and should be one of your go-tos. For things other than hands, this one ranged from minor to substantial changes in the image, and seemed to simplify the background a bit. Next up is Bad Neg Anatomy version 1. Unfortunately, this one did not have good results for hands, showing a significant decrease for 2 out of 3 tested, and a smaller decrease for the third. Overall, I think it's safe to say this one hurts the quality of hands. For other effects, this one seemed to increase the sharpness and contrast while changing the image moderately. Most good models these days don't have substantial issues with bad anatomy, maybe 2-4 to four issues per 100 images. So unless they're talking about certain anatomical features I can't discuss on YouTube, I'm not really sure what the selling point is here. Bad Prompt version 2 is our next contender and was designed to emulate a negative prompt with just a single word. This embedding was made by the same creator as negative underscore hand. Unlike negative underscore hand, which literally did not fulfill its only purpose, this one actually had decent results for hands, with all three models showing positive impact, with one of those being significant. That puts it in fourth place overall for embeddings tested in this video. Additionally, bad prompts seem to increase image quality in general with relatively minor changes to the image. However, like Bad Dream, this one tended to de-age people and lost some textures or colors as well. So, I would say I'm a fan of this one, and definitely see myself using it in the future. As the name indicates, Cyberrealistic underscore negative is a negative embedding for the Cyberrealistic model. 
As such, I only tested it on CyberLustic version 3. The results were slightly positive, but not significant. It also seems to increase image quality a bit without changing it too substantially. So if you want to use it, go ahead. But I think there's a much better option for Lustic models that we'll cover later in the video. Deep negative is a negative embedding that was apparently created by training on very disgusting and disturbing images. For testing, I used the 75 vector version, which has the strongest effect. Results were mixed, with a significant increase for Minimix, the anime model tested, with a smaller increase for Zabia 3, and finally, a decrease in quality for Epic Realism. Overall, I would call these results inconclusive with regard to hands. In terms of image quality, this one seemed to increase image quality a little, but at the cost of large changes to the image. Overall, it's alright, but not perfect. I probably won't be using it, but you do you. Easy Negative is a negative embedding designed for use with counterfeit, and I also tested it on two other anime models. Unfortunately, there was a decrease in hand quality observed for all three, with one of those being significant. Although it was the least negative for counterfeit, the model it was designed for. I didn't notice much of an improvement in image quality or coherency when using this either. Overall, I don't think this one is worth using. The first and only licorice on our list is Envy Better Hands Locon, also known as Good Hands version 2. And for testing, I use the Beta 2 version. This one is unique in two ways. First, it goes into the prompt, not the negative prompt. And you need the licorice extension installed to be able to use this. Test results were good, with all three models showing an increase in the quality of hands, though only one was significant. The results place Envy as the third most effective embedding in this video, slightly outperforming Bad Prompt version 2. The other changes to the image were relatively minor, but I saw both positive and negative changes in the results. So, if you're using this one, you'll probably want a secondary embedding that helps with image quality. Funny story about this next contestant, Fast Negative version 2. For some reason, I thought this included the bad hand embedding, which we know makes better hands. However, I did the testing and the results were not great. No result was significant, but all three models showed a decrease in the quality of hands. I was confused, but whatever. Then, while I was scripting this video, I looked up the description on Civit.ai, and lo and behold, this embedding actually includes the negative underscore hand embedding instead of bad hands. If you watched part one of this series, you'll recall that in my testing, the negative underscore hand embedding did not improve hands for any model tested, and actually showed a significant decrease for one model. So this sort of ended up being an unintentional bias test for my score method, and I'm glad to say I passed. For other effects, Fast Negative version 2 seems to improve image quality a bit with moderate changes to the image. I forgot to mention, Fast Negative version 2 is another embedding by Dream Shaper creator Lycon. This one isn't bad, but I think Bad Dream is better all around. Moving on, we have Realistic Vision Negative Embedding, which is a 75 token negative embedding created for, wait for it, Realistic Vision. I stumbled upon it by accident and really didn't expect much out of it. But when I went ahead and tested it on both Realistic Vision version 2 and version 3, it improved hands substantially for both. So I went further and tested it on my standard panel of three models, and the results for those were great as well. Overall, three out of the five models tested showed a significant increase in the quality of hands, with the remaining two showing smaller increases. So that makes this embedding our second heavy hitter when it comes to improving hands. For image quality, this one had the best results for realistic models by making things sharper and more realistic. It was okay for stylized 2, but not great for anime. Another downside is this embedding changes the image pretty substantially. However, with only 12k downloads, this one is highly underrated. So, a shout out to the creator, Seeker of the Thick, who I hope finds an abundance of booty. Our second to last embedding in this video is Unspeakable Horrors, which is apparently not trained, but created using vectors from a model. I used a 24 vector version for testing. This embedding did not have good results for Hange, showing a significant decrease in the quality of 1 out of 3, with smaller decreases for the other 2. In other areas, Unspeakable Horrors usually increased image quality by adding more details and increasing the sharpness with moderate changes. The whole hand thing is kind of a shame because this one is pretty good otherwise. In the model description, it says it's mainly for anatomy and composition. Since this embedding is from January, anatomy might have been an issue then, but these days, good models don't really have those issues, so alas, I will have to pass on this one. And for the last negative embedding for a video, we have Very Bad Image Negative, version 1.3, which seems to be a dedicated negative to some obscure model that somehow became very popular. 
Across the three models I tested, hands were slightly better, but these results were not substantial. I would call these results inconclusive with regard to hands. This embedding also tended to add details to the images and change colors fairly often, but didn't change composition that much. Overall, I'd say image quality was better, but it had some issues with coherency. All that said, I think this one is worth using, though don't expect it to work miracles. Now we've identified five or so embeddings that either might improve or will improve hands. Cool. But this is stable effusion. If you don't have a negative prompt long enough to be submitted as a thesis, are you even trying? I want peak performance, and I know you do too. So, all we gotta do is stack all these buffs on our prompt and boom, we'll get the most perfect hands ever seen by mankind. Except it doesn't work that way. Alas, RPG logic does not apply to stable diffusion, so we can't just stack the effects of all these embeddings willy-nilly. You might not like it, but this is not what peak performance looks like. As an example, I performed testing with all three top embeddings together. At first glance, this looks like pretty good results when we compare against the base model. However, when we compare them against the top screen single negative embedding, they all underperform that. So, I reduced the number of embeddings and did testing with only Envy and Realistic Vision negative, and did testing with only Bad Hands and Realistic Vision negative. These results are much better. While Cetus just barely outperformed a single negative embedding, Ray of Animated and Epic Realism showed improved performance. There are two important takeaways here. First, less is more when it comes to these negative embeddings. Adding too many can actually decrease your performance. Going back a little bit, the page for Envy Better Hands says it might not be compatible with bad hands, and these results indicate that is actually the case. Second, there are diminishing returns even when you add more negative embeddings that are actually compatible with each other. The add-on effect was smaller than if you added the effects of both embeddings separately, and that doesn't even take into account how much you might be changing or constraining your image. So, be light with your negative embeddings and only use a couple. If this video showed you which negative embeddings will and won't help you make better hands, like and subscribe to support the channel. The embeddings that I recommended during the video are linked in the video description below. As always, thank you for watching, and see you next time.